Ladies and gentlemen, the son of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Martin Luther King III, and the daughter of Senator Robert Kennedy, Rory Kennedy. My father said our destinies are tied together. None of us can be free until all of us are free. My father said the greatest voice is the voice of the people. My father believed injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. My father believed when one of us prospers, we all prosper. When one of us falters, so do we all. These words reflect the heart of one of the most important struggles in American history, the struggle for civil rights. Although it began 200 years ago, tonight we celebrate a period in which black and white Americans struggled together to discover the ties that bind. Here are some of the places, and most importantly, the people that led us toward the discovery of a new and closer brotherhood. Rosa Parks, a Montgomery seamstress who refused to give up her seat on a segregated bus and became the mother of the civil rights movement. Holt Street Baptist Church and all the ministries that became sanctuaries for leadership and social change. A spiritual leader who dedicated his life to nonviolence, pursuing the best hopes and dreams of America, Martin Luther King Jr. We still advocate nonviolence, passive resistance, and still uh, determined to use the weapon of love. Daisy Bates, an Arkansas activist who helped open the doors of Central High to the Little Rock Nine. The Greensboro Four, students at North Carolina A&T who decided a segregated lunch counter was the place to sit down for right. By court order, the first black student admitted to the University of Mississippi, James Meredith. Well, I thought that I should get an education in my own state. And of course, uh, Ole Miss, to my knowledge, is the best university in the state. A. Philip Randolph, role model to the modern civil rights leaders and architect of the March on Washington. Fannie Lou Hammer, grassroots leader of the freedom movement who helped stage a walkout at the Democratic National Convention when Mississippi refused to cede its black delegates. I question America. Is this America? The land of the free and the home of the brave. He defined a new black consciousness, Malcolm X. If democracy means freedom, why aren't our people free? President John Kennedy and Attorney General Robert Kennedy, brothers who supported the struggle for equality. Can we honestly say that it doesn't affect our security and the fight for peace when Negroes and others are denied their full constitutional rights? An outspoken student whose cry for black power opened our eyes and minds to black is beautiful, Stokely Carmichael. We are concerned about the survival of black people in this country. Angela Davis, a courageous California political science professor who put her career and life on the line for the unjustly accused. Odetta, Joan Baez, Mahalia Jackson, Peter, Paul, and Mary, and freedom singers everywhere whose music inspired us. James Farmer, Dorothy Height, John Lewis, and Jesse Jackson, veteran leaders of the freedom movement then and now. And the millions of American men, women, and children who marched, sang, demonstrated, and died in the name of freedom. 